Right now you're tuned into either Fox or CNN, whatever your cult little it tickles your tribal mind clit. You're watching that and you're going, oh boy, is he going to win? Is he going to win? Venetia's mother is on a fucking defibrillator right now. Right now. So um, do the right thing and don't vote. And let's try to get, yeah, do the right thing. Do not vote. We want to try to get a dictator in to end voting. To end voting, let's that'd just, be great. Yeah, that's it. We don't want any more uh, yeah. interference from the Russians. The only way to do that is have a dictator so there's no elections anymore. Yeah, so we'll see. So maybe this might be the last year with the Electoral College. I mean, go Google the Electoral College. We barely talked about it. Yeah. So go Google what it's about. We got a YouTube video that we could post. I mean, because we just want to go wild. The truth is, I we fucking doing this podcast just to tell you, I echo what Yanni says. Don't vote unless you're in Florida, Ohio. Then your vote kind of maybe matters. But the truth of the situation is this, is it's probably all rigged anyway, and there's no way they're counting all these fucking votes with all the election meddling. They don't have the time to do that. The winner has been predetermined, and Joe Biden and Donald Trump know who it is. We don't know who it is, but we'll make, they'll make believe like it was a scandal. They already know who the fucking, they already know who the president is. All these people are friends, Trump and Biden and Obama and Clinton. They're all friends. They all know each other. They're all fucking elitists. They don't care about any of us. But go ahead, vote. If you got nothing to do, get out. Get some fresh air. Go vote. I mean, oh, here, here's another fun fact. It's the hundredth year. It's the hundredth year that women are allowed to vote in the USA. August 1920, the ninth, in August of 1920 is when the 19th Amendment was passed and women were granted the right to vote. And just a hundred years later, after women have the right to vote, our country is in chaos and about to deteriorate and crumble <laughs> to, and, ne- and wash away by the ocean. So there you go. If you're living in a non-American country, do what you can to make sure women can't vote anymore or else you're going to become us. Wait, but wait a second. You forgot about... <laughs> You forgot about one fun fact. What's the fun 60% fact? 60% of white women, I think at least, maybe even more, voted for Trump last time. It's what it is. So do you really want to take away the vote? Because that might have what tipped the scale for Dottie T. Oh, yeah. So then just for this election, they can't. No, this, I'm kidding. That was That's a of, beautiful thing. 100-year anniversary. Congrats to women. Yeah, congrats. Yeah. Yes, congrats queen. to biological women yes. and women who, uh, who all, are trans. All women. All yes. women. Women. And we're talking about people with you uteruses and people without all women all All women women. now here's the deal um i think it was i think it's really uh an interesting fact that was a fun one from 2016 for me yes that a woman was running and most white women did not vote for yeah my stepmother did not vote for (laughs) so v how can we how can we get women to get along because when you guys get unified that one or two times that's happened in history yeah. Yeah. Like, how do you how do you? Because I'll tell you what, getting naked and having Cardi B be a spokesperson just ain't working. It's so just, what else can we do? Yeah. Is Cardi B going to sit down with uh, Joe Biden one more time? I hope for so. For a hard-hitting interview that, for the people again? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah. Or, yeah. So, so what, how, what can what can, what can can we do, V, as a woman? What can we white do? white women to get them to vote for Biden and, uh, and Harris, the first African-American president who's not African-American? <laughs> That's what it is. Well, I think that's pretty dope that there's good, there's a VP who's a female. So that's number that's one. That's dope. Can we offer them fucking scented candles or something from QVC? Something. People, money talks. I it's the economy, it's, stupid. What do white women like? They like fucking, they like jeggings and they like scented candles. What can we give them? I think that some women just don't see themselves represented in uh, government. So it's like kind of weird. So they're like, oh, I'm just going to do what I'm used to. So... I think that people need to give uh, them a chance. I mean, there's right. a lot of change that is happening and your vote does matter. Yes, electoral votes, it's fucked. But, you know, when you go to vote, there's popular votes on on the other people that are on the va- ballot. So, guys, I think that you should vote. It's not just the president. But wait, when you say when you say you want them to vote, do you uh, do you mean it the same way Lady Gaga does? Just vote whoever it is, whoever it is for. No, I mean, so what, I, I say, you no, know no, no, because I, I want to ask Lady Gaga. She said, make sure you go out there and vote. So Lady Gaga, are you talking to the people who are going to vote Trump? Should they vote? Do you want them to vote Should, or do yeah, you want them who? to stay home? No, they they I, would actually be more effective if like Leonardo DiCaprio was like, look, if you're voting Trump, stay home. Yeah. That's what I. That's what I've been saying. Yeah. That's why I'm so angry. This part because I've had enough of the bullshit. It's like we know when the celebrities say vote, just tell us to vote, that you want us to vote for Biden. Just be honest. Yeah. Be honest, please. That's all I'm asking. You would do yourself so much better. Fucking lying. Like you're all. They're they're always lying. I think no matter who wins, they shouldn't allow, be allowed to tweet. Yes. I. That's one thing I would say. I don't think you should be able to... President to, can't have Twitter. You can't have Twitter anymore. So it can't be like you... T- you we can't put 
you can't maybe start a world war when you're taking a shit. Yeah. That can't be. It can't be. It can't be like I'm bored taking a shit. Let me tweet this out about King Jong Foon. Yeah, whatever. Who's definitely dead and being propped up. Whoever the people responsible for making uh Kim Jong un stay alive when he's already dead are the same people that created Joe Biden. It's yes. the same thing. Whoever that makeup artist is, you deserve a fucking award because Kim Jong un's been dead since April and Joe Biden's been dead since about the late eighties. And long so, live long live Ali Wong. She doesn't believe communism could ever happen in America. Yeah, well it's happening. Uh, Ali, and it's happening soon. Yeah. We really hope you enjoyed that episode, whatever it was about. This is just a stock thing that we're taping on to every episode. So go make sure you rate, review us, subscribe, uh, turn on your notifications, get jiggy with it. And go to patreon.com slash Bay Ridge Boys where things get really wild. Wow.